In this video, we're going to talk about three trading strategy books that are well worth reading. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so books come in a variety of different categories, or trading books do. You've got the psychology books, you've got the kind of story books, which talk about traders' life and they talk about what they've been through and that kind of stuff. And then you've got strategy books. Now, I quite like the books that talk about a trader's life, a successful trader's life, because they tend to dip in and out of a little bit of psychology, a little bit of story, a little bit of strategy, not too much. And I quite enjoy those. And we've done a video on those before, my favorite books from that category. However, you've got a category which are trading strategies. Now, interestingly, you know, when you read some of these books, and we'll go through these in a second, but when you read some of them, you recognize that, hey, these strategies aren't going to work in the current markets. And actually, someone will probably have back tested them and they don't work in the current market conditions. However, it's really good to see trading strategies that other people use, how they form them, how they traded them, the rules of them, so you can use them as a foundation to build your own tra trading strategies for the current market conditions. Anyway, let's move on and we'll come to that in a second. The first one I really think is worth watching, worth watching, worth reading, is studies in tape reading. Now, tape reading is often confused as reading the time and sales, reading the market depth, and yes, that is tape reading. It can be tape reading. However, tape reading is broader than that. Tape reading is more looking at price action, looking at how price is changing, how price is not changing, how it's changing relative to news, not news, how it's responding to lows, highs, that is tape reading. Now, whether you are a scalper or you are a position trader, it's useful to understand some, how price is behaving around levels that you might want to be interested in, if that makes sense. So let me explain. So if price is coming down to a level that you're looking to buy at, for example, if you're a swing trader or if you're a scalper and you've got a support level, your skills of reading the tape, i.e. how does it respond to it? Does it pop straight off it and come back and retest? Does it break through and hold below? You know, little clues like that are gonna give you either the nod to pull the trigger or say, hey, you know what, I'm just gonna back off and wait for a little bit longer or I'm gonna pass on this trade. So tape reading, I believe, is a skill that everybody should have in trading, whether you are a scalper or you are a swing trader. It's a bit dry in places, I'm gonna admit it, it's a little bit dry in places and it's very old. So you've got kind of very stuff in here which is nowhere, completely irrelevant to the current day markets. However, the actual overall skill is still useful and it's worth reading because it's kind of cheap. It's like a reproduction. You get it on Amazon for a, a few quid or a few dollars. Uh, it's worth picking up that. Okay, number two we've got is the playbook. I've talked about this one before. Um, this is a book by Mike Bellafior and, or Bellafiori, however you pronounce it. I may have butchered his saying, apology. apologies, Mike. Uh, this is really a book of strategies that his trading, proprietary trading firm use. It's a little bit old now. However, I know that he does use, or they do use a lot of these strategies now. What is interesting about this one is it's a real broad uh, a variety of strategies that proprietary traders use and have used to make serious cash with. And what you can do is rather than kind of, you know, looking at this and taking it and putting it into your own trading uh, plan, you can use it again as a foundation, as a tool to say, hey, these guys came up with this, uh, this trade around support levels or this trade second day play or whatever it may be. How can I use that in the current market conditions or within over my overall trading plan? Yes, it's an intraday trading kind of book, but very, still very useful if you're swing trading as well, because, you know, I've mentioned this before, if you can get an intraday entry that's a little sweet spot, then you can hold it for multiple days. And you can almost have a scalper entry and a scalper's risk uh, with a longer term hold, at least on a portion of the position. So that's worth looking at. It didn't get that good reviews, to be honest, but I quite liked it. I think it's okay. It's not the best book in the world, but it's well worth a read. Um, and the final one, which I don't have a copy of here, is Street Smarts. That's by... Linda Bradford Rashke, and there's another author to it. Anyway, I'll put a screenshot of it here now. It's not a cheap book, and it's not that relevant to today's markets, if I'm honest. However, it's a good book from a perspective that it outlines multiple trading strategies with rules for entry, for exit, for stop, for, for taking profits, the whole lot. And it's all based on back testing with the markets, you know, back then, whenever the, the book was released. It's 
useful again in realizing how a trading strategy is formed and often a lot of those strategies do work in today's markets but they need to be tweaked like there's a lot of at the end of the day guys strategies are all around the same kind of thing you're either buying for a move back up i mean reversion trade or you're buying for a continuation trade a trend trade momentum trade that's the only two things you can really do so whilst the actual specific rules may not work in actual if you follow them to the letter a little tweak here and there or adjustment uh, and using them as a foundation to build on for current market conditions is well worth it so if you're struggling with kind of coming up with some strategies that are working have a look at these two books specifically for kind of rules for strategies if you want to get a little bit more of a feel about tape and about price action i put it in a broad sense but you know how price changes how you can infer perhaps future direction from current price changes uh, this is worth a look it's these aren't the most the best ever books in the world but if you've gone through the kind of classics and you're looking for something else to kind of put on your nightstand or whatever it may be uh, these are definitely worth a look all right guys that's three trading strategies book three trading strategy books worth reading any that you've got that i haven't mentioned here put them in the comment section below if i haven't read them already i might go and get them and check them out and then we can talk about them on here uh, if i have i'll put them up in a review as well and add them to a future video anyway guys take care good trading see you in the next one Keep the risk managed. Goodbye.